And here we are in beautiful downtown Osaka. Or at least, kind of beautiful if you like cities. So, what I'm going to be making a video of today. I figured I'd make a video about lights in Japan. I haven't found any videos online. I thought this would be an interesting topic to share with people. So, uh, this right here is a standard light bulb that you're going to have inside of a, uh, an apartment or what people call a mansion sometimes in Japan. And they come in all different sizes and different brightness levels, which is based off the size of the room. What's really interesting about these is all of the different features that you can get with them. You can get your bare bones model, which is basically just a, uh, a single light and it only turns on and turns off. It has nothing special about it whatsoever. But you pay an extra 5 or $10 and you can get something a little bit more fancy that has uh, a dimmer switch built into it. You can get some of them that have the ability to change colors and you get up into the ones that are like two three hundred dollars you can get some really really fancy automated light changing and color changing and other stuff going on uh, this one is on the lower end of the spectrum but it's kind of nice because it does have a couple different features which you can see right here on the remote the very top button right there is going to be your uh, white light and then the one right underneath it is going to be yellow so right now i have it on yellow and this is white light you probably can't really see too well because of the camera, but if you look at the wall, you can see how the color changes on the wall based off of which one I'm using. It makes it easier on the eyes using one light versus the other. Uh, white light, you tend to notice certain flaws in your room, like maybe if there's a uh, stain on the wall or something, it stands out a little bit more under a pure whiter light. So I'm going to show you what the inside of this guy looks like. Go ahead and set up my camera right here. All right, so pretty easy disassembly. Pretty much take it, turn it about a third of a uh, twist to the left. Let's see if we can get a good picture of this. There you go. All those different LEDs are what make up this light. So obviously, got my remote again. You can tell that you've got yellow LEDs and you've got white ones. And you turn down the brightness all the way, which it's down pretty low right now. And uh, dimmer switch on this for right before you go to bed. Turns all the LEDs off and it just turns on this one little light right there. So this guy right here is plugged into the electric socket, which I will put up a uh, JPEG in this video to show you what the electric socket looks like. Alright, so how does this guy get installed? So, most of the time when you buy these lights, they're going to have something on the display box that shows adapters, because not everybody has the same type of plug for their ceiling. There's, I think, maybe five or six different styles of plugs with different ways that stuff snaps in or twists on. So you're going to get an adapter, which is this guy right here. And your adapter is normally built to work with every single type of plug that you're going to find out there, from the oldest homes to the more modern ones. You basically just slide that on, you twist it on, you click it on, one way or the other that thing is going to connect onto whatever's sticking out of your ceiling. And then once you've got him in there, he basically throws all of your power onto these uh, two wires right here. You take your LED assembly, which is this entire body, and that just slides right on top of your adapter here, and it locks in with these three green pins. They're spring-loaded, so you just push it up there, it snaps into place. That holds the entire assembly up, and then you take this wire and just gently connect it, and you're done installing your light. That is how easy it is to install a light in Japan. Which is really nice. Extremely convenient and I don't know how much of a warranty these things have because I've never actually lived in my own Japanese house and used one of these. I have rented apartments, I've lived inside of condos for short periods of time and then stayed over at a friend's place. But because I've never lived inside of a house, I don't know if these have a one year lifespan, 10 year, 20. I don't know how often individual LEDs will burn out on this, whether or not they do burn out. 
and like old Christmas tree lights, if one LED burns out, does it take out an entire array? I do not have that information. But if I hear anything or if I can find something, I'll be sure to update the video later with that. So, thank you for watching.